my dear students welcome to week two of unit three this week extends from 14th of january till the 18th of january first of all we are going to start with lesson one lesson one is about christmas carol act one scene one in this class you're going to recognize the author of the play you're going to read and annotate a christmas carol act one scene one we're going to recognize the author of the play by checking the savas page i already assigned um the page for you guys and there we are going to know more about the author uh, or the playwright of A Christmas Carol. Our word wall is going to include author, play, act, scene, stage directions, dialogue, setting, and characters. We're going to watch a video about stage directions and dialogue in a play and we are going to um, implement that on act one scene one you're going to have an interactive activity this page is going or this picture is going to take you to the book of savas and you're going to highlight the stage directions on your book then we're going to watch a video about a christmas carol act one scene one we're going to uh, to have an interactive activity related to that. You will have further practice related to Scrooge, related to A Christmas Carol, Act 1, Scene 1. For the challenging question, you're going to be asked, who visited Scrooge to request a donation for the poor? Then you will have a self-assessment quiz. And for what to do tomorrow, I would like you to answer the following question on your uh, notebook. When Marley was alive, what relationship did he have with Scrooge? For lesson two, we are going to read and add, annotate A Christmas Carol Act One, Scene Two. For the word wall, we have the words author, play, act, scene, stage directions, dialogue, setting, and characters. We're going to watch a video uh, about A Christmas Carol, Act 1, Scene 2. You will have an interactive activity. We're going to watch a video of um, a video analyzing Act 1, Scene 2, and you will have another interactive activity. Of course, you will have further practice. For further practice, I chose um, Course Hero, where you are going to find more information about A Christmas Carol Acts, uh, Act 1, Scenes 1 and 2. For the challenging question, why do the portly and thin men visit Scrooge? Cite a line that shows the reason for their visit. You will have a self-assessment. And for what to do tomorrow, I would like you to list five adjectives that describe Ebenezer Scrooge. For lesson three and four, going to do the following. Of course, you know and you are aware that um, the parents meeting, uh, the parents teacher meeting is going to be on the, uh, on the 18th of the, um, uh, the 18th of January. And you are the ones that are going to lead the parent teacher conference. The word wall is going to include lead, conference, teacher, parent, students, presentation, presentation and journey. We're going to watch a video about student-led teacher parent conference and you're going to answer the following questions in order to practice what you are and what you're going to say and how you are going to lead the teacher parent conference. Of course, we are going to concentrate on writing. I would like you to bring your writing notebook in order to show a sample of your work before and after um, um, the semester or at the beginning of the semester and at the end of the semester. 
How did you improve in your writing? What did you learn about Criterion B? How did you improve in Criterion B, which is organizing? What did you learn about Criterion C? How did you improve in Criterion C and how did it reflect on your writing? Uh, what did you learn about Criterion D and how did you improve in Criterion D using language? What would you do to improve your skills more during the second semester? You're going to watch a video about presentation skills in order to help you to nail your presentation and to do the right stuff. We're going to practice your presentation together. Um, we're going to think who's your audience, how many attendees would we expect, uh, why are they there, what's the goal of your presentation. All of these questions, we're going to answer them together because I want you to do the best, uh, your best in, uh, in the student-led uh, teacher-parent um, conference. Of course, for what to do tomorrow, I would like you to practice your speech to present it in front of your parent. I can't wait to start this week with you guys. All the love and respect.